on disc by Jackie Gabrielle. Copyright 2011. Ella. Chapter 11. Albuquerque and Beyond. Good morning, Ranchero de Santa Fe. Hills all around, hummingbirds in the air, and groundhogs underfoot. Gabby and Ella welcomed the peaceful morning in the New Mexico trailer park. After saying goodbye to their beloved trailer home and leaving it in the good hands of the couple from Albuquerque, they would head again towards California. A quick overnight stay at a Comfort Inn just off the interstate and they were off again, west on Interstate 40. Gabby loved seeing the changing vistas, small towns, great stretches of sand and mountains interspersed with a smattering of buildings sometimes broken down and abandoned, and sometimes not. The biggest sights were the billboards, the ones proclaiming the great time to be had at one of the many Native American casinos along the interstate. They offered free accommodations, $50 gas cards, and loose penny slots. Ella simply drove, making time. Though Gabby didn't know what the rush was, she read the information in the AAA camp book about Church Rock, a town they were about to pass. Honey, listen, she started. There's a place called Church Rock up ahead. Church Rock, repeated Ella. Yes, Gabby continued. There's a place called Church Rock where in 1979 a dam collapsed and spilled radioactive water in the Puerco River. Interesting, Ella responded. Is that where we're staying tonight, she questioned. Ella paused and looked over the map. I think Gallup looks like a good place. Gallup, New Mexico, where over 100 trading posts and a casino. It also hosted a high school rodeo, which meant that Ella and Gabby got the last room available at the Comfort Inn, a non-smoking room. They would deal with that later. Now they were headed to the casino to check out the penny slots. Gabby was disappointed to find that the casino only had free coffee and soda. To top it all, there were no machines in which to put pennies. So, just like there's no champagne in the champagne room, there are no penny slots in the casino. The day ended with Ella taking her medication in the car in the parking lot. Oh, for the day when patients don't have to act like criminals to be continued. Thanks again for reading aloud.